it good morning guys it is another beautiful day outside today today is supposed to be the hottest of all the days it's supposed to be 75 i think so that's going to be good to look forward to it's warm enough weather to have a good workout today for liberty fit but also to want ice cream really bad so i might just go and have myself a little bit of sugar but good morning happy tuesday Do you guys hear that? They have been playing super loud music all day. And like, I don't know if it's just like, Alex thinks that they're the base of their like, um, speaker is against this wall and that's why we can hear it so well. But it's like, they have it up so loud that when I walked outside, I could hear it outside down the neighborhood. So it's like, it's not just our house that they're just being so loud. And they've been playing this music since 9 45 a.m so like i get it it's the daytime you want to listen to music i'm all for listening to music but when it's disturbing your neighbors and it's that loud like i try to never do my music that loud as to disturb the neighbors apparently it's not a thing for them because they have been playing it all day and non-stop <clears throat> and the same song over and over or at least it sounds like the same song maybe it is I, I don't know but it's getting a little bit annoying and um they do this all the time now it's not even just a one-time thing i think i showed you guys in a previous vlog they've been doing this they're just so not being very respectful okay you guys did some more laundry cleaned up everything in the room trying to make it look spiffy and nice kiwi apparently found the monster book that i got and loves to chew on the tongue of it because the tongue is plastic so now i have to hide that from her when she goes in there because she's being naughty but she's also playing with this straw get it she's like i'm gonna eat first get it get it kiwi Look, what's he doing? <laughs> the second I turn on the camera, she stops chasing it as much. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, I didn't go that far. Huh? Go ahead. <gasps> go ahead, Kiwi. No? Are you done with that game? I'm sticking with the healthy thing and I'm eating some watermelon for a snack. Which honestly doesn't feel healthy or different because I would eat watermelon anytime. And I stuck with my healthy stuff and I got the Repel Zero Calorie Water. I got two of them. I stuck with a healthy lifestyle too. It's spilling. I got, I got, uh, this is spilling a little. I got Andrew got something bowl. too. We'll show them your assorted food. Assorted fruits. And I got... Oh, now I smell it. It's like that smell that when we first got the car. There's something weird, like, coming out of our vent or something. So, anyways, I stuck to it, and I'm going to get some watermelon before practice. Because it's 3.31, so practice should be soon, but I needed a snack. We're literally stuck in a whole line of traffic. For some reason, I don't know what is the holdup. Like, I can see a bus down there, but, like... That's not the bus stop, though. The bus is, is at... It's not off to the side. It's in its regular thing. And there was also a lot of traffic coming this way. So, I'm like, I don't know. But I decided I wanted Subway. So, we're going to go to Subway and get some dinner. <laughs> it's only, like, 5 o'clock, but I'm just hungry. So, I figured we would just get it now. Um, I'm on my second water, which... Ugh, I just miss soda, but I promised myself I was just going to do <coughs> one soda a week. And so, so far, I've been staying really strong to that. And today we got to plan Miss Jenkins' um, birthday party, birthday school party. Um, we're going to get supplies for that this weekend. And next week we're going to pick up the cupcakes and everything. Um, cupcake I don't guys. think she watches these vlogs, so hopefully she doesn't see this. 
And if you do watch these vlogs, yeah. I don't think she does, but um, we're going to do that next week, and we've been planning it. Um, and we just confirmed everything with this really awesome limited fit teacher, Miss Craft, who helps do warm up. So you might see her in some of like the warm up things when I'm trying to get mom because she's always in the front. Um, so we got that all planned. We got to get that stuff and supplies this weekend. And next week, uh, I think Friday, Sarah wanted to. Sarah, I wanted to hang out, so I asked Sarah if she wanted to hang out, and she said yeah. So. Uh, as long as everything goes to plan, I'm not sure. I think she gets back here Monday. But uh, anyways, hopefully we can do that and have a hangout day. And hopefully it's still sunny and beautiful next week. But we're still stuck in traffic with this. It's ridiculous. I got some healthy chips and I got a vitamin water, which spilled, but I'm ready for some dinner, kind of early. Okay, you guys, so I got my new case on my iPod, the OtterBox case, uh, which I really am liking so far, and it has a plastic cover, so that way it's so easy to clean and everything. This is my new iPod, by the way, the new one that Andrew got me, really excited and happy about it. And the cool part of this OtterBox is it actually has like a strap that comes with it that can just hook to the side of it. So if I'm running or something like that, I can hook that onto my arm and there's less possibility of me dropping it. But besides that, um, it's, you know, like a shockproof case. So it should be completely shockproof. So if I drop it, it should be all right. And with the new iPod, all I did was log into my account and every single thing that's on my other iPod popped up. Uh, like all the music I downloaded on iTunes, all my apps, everything. So I think that's so super cool. And it was even the same passcode. But I finally got this on my iPod now. Now me and Andrew both have the same uh, OtterBox case. Different iPods. I have the Generation 6. This is the Generation 6. He's the Generation 5. But the only way we can tell is the back has this little pink and then his is blue. But anyways, I was going to update you guys when I finally use this case. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully it lasts for a very long time because these, while they are really good and they're supposed to be shockproof, they fall off very easily. So anyways, um, tonight me and Andrew are going to watch a movie together and spend some time together. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to try to get him to watch Jurassic World with me. I really, 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 really want him to watch Jurassic World with me. But we'll see if that works out. Oh. Whew. Sorry, guys. Anyways, that is what we're going to do tonight. Right now, me and Mom are watching our new favorite show, which is Impractical Jokers. I started watching it and mom was falling asleep in the chair and she would get annoyed because they were laughing so loud and she'd wake up to them laughing. But then she actually started watching the show with me and now she finds it hilarious and me and her just sit down here and laugh at this show. It's just so funny. And then on Thursday when I was staying at my aunt's house and my dad was staying with me, he watched the new Impractical Jokers and he was laughing the whole time. And Alex has seen it and is laughing the whole time. Andrew has seen it and laughing the whole time. So this might be our new family show that we watch. So tell me in the comments below if you've seen Impractical Jokers and if you think it's funny. And what is your favorite punishment that has been on the show? I know this is a huge side note, but this game, Hogwarts Mystery, or Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, comes out tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm going to download it right away. I think I already have it downloaded, actually. I'm going to pick my character. I'm going to get my house out. I'm going to start doing Harry Potter stuff. I'm so excited for this game. Is anybody else as excited as I am? Because this girl is really excited. <laughs> 